Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Hard on Life Sailing. In today's video we are in the final steps of refitting our boat in the yard and we'll show you how we install lights in our fiberglass hardtop. Also we managed to install nuts under the hardtop legs. It gets a bit challenging but we managed to get it done. Uh, waiting for the rain to pass, so I'm going to do a little out of the rain job. I got to cut this off so we can install a light on here. This was just a temporary piece of PVC. I'm going to stick a brush up here and hopefully I can one hand this. The brush is there to protect the wire. A little scar there, but that's not going to matter. Well inside the size of the light fixture here. It's going to cover more than the whole circle. All right, this is not our forever light fixture. This is some stuff we bought on eBay when we went back to Canada and they shipped it from the States. And this is just a super thin, fragile acrylic cover on a very non-waterproof, even though it said, I think, AP67 waterproof. This is not waterproof. That that's wide open on the back. They sent them all loose in a bag, so almost every one got damaged. Probably the last time I buy something on eBay. They did reimburse me some of the money, but still, they're all just crap. Just gonna wait till we find a good deal on some better lights and do our whole boat in them, which we thought we were doing in this case. But then this is the crap we ended up with. What I've got here is a, a lot of extra wire. I'm gonna be having to tuck it inside here or I'm just going to bring all the wires inside the light fixture. Just shortened all of those. We're going to make the connection on the inside of this box. If you ever see these listed on eBay, they're crap. Don't buy them. My company, which deals with all LED lighting, sent them loose in a bag, which is unbelievable. And they are not waterproof at all. Clearly not waterproof. There's no seals. They all came like that with some sort of cracking in it. So we're going to install this out here in the cockpit. Uh, if it goes bad after a while, I don't really care. This is only a temporary light fixture. Since I'm only doing this temporary, I'm going to be using these little mechanical connectors. These all you do is put the wire in and then you tighten up a little screw. When we find some better lights, we will be replacing them. But uh, here in Trinidad, they're like $100 each. And we need 15 for our boat and I think and then the one out here so we're going to source some from china sorry all canadian manufacturers you charge too much so to me it looks like these are for like a 1970s car or something it's got the extra ground wire here for on off and door the door ends up doing nothing unless i connect the two yellow and blacks together then i can go on and on and just off is in the middle so you're not always flicking it back and forth trying to find the right setting these little mechanical connectors are nice in a way, they're so easy to use. You don't really have to worry about your wires pulling out because it's a, a screw holding it in. It's not just crimped together. These wires are particularly thin. Alright, this is the inside. Excuse the mess. Uh, while we're in the boatyard, this has been my tool shed. But this is also where our, a lot of our connectors come from the hardtop and the, the new solar we put on the uh, davits. So these are the wires going to the davits. These are the wires for the lights on the hardtop. And very conveniently, there is a wire right here with a mechanical connector exactly like what I used in the light fixture upstairs 
this is what connects the lights on the inside of the boat, which is loose right now because I have to make an access hole here. So I'm gonna locate the one I labeled center light, which is right here, and cut away the excess, skin it. Really don't need to cut these back very far. Only a small portion that goes inside of here. Fortunately, as soon as I disconnect this, we're gonna lose the light in this room. It's only 12 volt. I'm really not concerned about being electrocuted here. Wires I have, what I'm putting in are all marine grade wires. You'll know they're marine grade because they have a silver coating on them. I think nickel plating prevents them from corroding. It makes it take a lot longer to corrode. But the original ones on the boat didn't have that. Probably wasn't a thing 40 years ago. All right. That is connected. Let's go upstairs and see what it looks like. And there it is. We have lights. Lights with cracks in them. Thank you eBay. Oh, look how bad that is. It's okay, we can glue that lens together. Don't really care. We're gonna be buying nice lights in the future. So just in case you're curious about these, I'm not gonna find the kind of lights I want here. I want shallow, flush mount lights so the LEDs so that they're very thin but flush mount so they set in here. I want to be able to just cut a notch out, make the connections, push the wires in and have a flush mounted light. Even better yet if we can get ones that have a little switch on it to go from white to red. So that's what those are being kept for. For now they're just going to dangle. But that's it for the wire hookup. Now let's move on to the next part. Here we are installing split conduit to protect wires and plugs from sun damage. If you remember earlier in our video, we put bolts on the legs of our hardtop. It didn't have access on the one side of the boat here. So here we can see now where the wires come into the boat with the bolts. I was going to try to put a backing plate on there, but um, that's just not going to work. I'm going to use uh, really big washers I have. I've got some really big washers. I'll probably have to shape them just a little bit to get them away from the edge. That's going to do just fine. So what I'm doing here to reach way up inside that combing, I just put a spare nut inside the socket just for a spacer and then my nut that I'm going to be using, then my top washer and then the big washer that I took a little nibble out of. Uh, what I've got to do now to make these stay in place is I'm using a little bit of this butyl tape and sticking it on here so that these all stay in place. very difficult to reach that area. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film. You're not gonna see much anyways other than me reaching up there. But I'm putting this together with this long extension here. Well, it's a few extensions together to reach all the way up there. All right, I got both bolts on. You can see behind the wires there. I did two washers, one really big washer where I shaved the sides off to fit inside the combing and then a smaller washer on top. And this one is directly above my hole. If that comes in focus, I can't tell. So that's what we got. Uh, I was wanting to put a backing plate in there, but that's just gonna be way too hard. Instead, we're gonna do an additional uh, bracket on the front of the boat to hold the front of the hard top. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next week when we're back in the water.